Ted, you're late for work already. Get up. They never stood a chance. They were written that way. Ted! Oh, I don't believe this. Ted, are you going to work or not? Well, you're late already. You know you're not in their good books. Why? What the fire? It wasn't Jean-Pierre's fault, Ted. It was your fault. This is completely unacceptable, Ted. If you're not going to work, you can do some chores. You're not ill. What? What's wrong? Munchausen syndrome. But Ted, you haven't got that. No, you haven't got that, Ted. No, you haven't got that. You're just bone idle. Final warning. If you're still lying in bed when I'm back in here, Ted, you're in serious trouble. Just because you find that life's not fair, it doesn't mean that you just have to... Right, I've got a shopping list for you here, Ted. Uh, we need eggs, broccoli, tacos, mint, jalapenos, uh, actually a big bag of those, hot sauce, toilet paper, uh, get some toilet and blocker, uh, and maybe some stain remover as well. You got that? Sainsbury's now, mate. Oh, look at you, you're swaying. Imagine being drunk this early. <laughs> oh. The little git. Could you come home immediately, please? Uh, emergency house meeting. Ted. Oh, he's been bloody naughty. Well, I can't find him. He's hiding somewhere. Okay. Bye. Item 1A, Ted. Uh, today, Ted didn't go to work again. He stayed in bed until past midday. He then became inebriated immediately after breakfast. I sent him to Sainsbury's to buy some ingredients. He forgot the list, I'd imagine because he was drunk. Uh, instead of buying the ingredients, he bought beer and sweets. Ted, can you explain why you've been so badly behaved today? No, Ted, receiving no pocket money is a consequence of your bad behaviour, not a cause of it. No, you're not misunderstood, you're just an extremely naughty bear. Ted, as you clearly can't provide a satisfactory explanation for your bad behaviour today, you can do the washing up and then you can go straight to bed.